had to throw the beanie on because got a little chilly and I got out the shower not that long ago, so my hair's still wet. Today's Monday, guys. I wanted to actually like talk through some of the things I'm working on for work. In my last work week in my life, I kind of talked about my work from a higher level perspective, but today I could talk about it from a more granular level. So right now I'm working on unit testing for our dev phone product that our team owns. And this is why I still consider myself a software engineer. My job title is developer advocate, but 50% of my job is software engineering focused. Some quarters, it's like 75% of my work is solely focused on maintaining our dev phone or adding new features. I don't have a ton of experience with unit testing. So I've been leaning on some of our software engineers for help with how to start, like what frameworks and libraries are most popular and easier to use for a mono repo library. So right now I'm looking at Jest and Vite, which are testing frameworks along with React testing library. Our goal is to have 50% test coverage. So I found this really cool tool called Istembo, which is a JavaScript code coverage tool that tracks which parts of your code have executed unit tests or executed by unit tests. What's up everyone today's tuesday and i had a few meetings this morning did a recovery run I have a basketball game today at 9 15 but had a really productive day had a great conversation with one of our ux designers and it was just nice to be able to have a conversation with a ux designer on like a different team well there's no ux designers on our on our team anyway so it was nice just interacting with a ux designer to talk through some developer experience and user experience along with some research and then we also had our department-wide all hands the first one this year and energy was really good and it's always refreshing to have like those department meetings have really good energy especially when you see some of your close coworkers in those meetings that you don't normally get a chance to interact with on like a even weekly basis and everyone's kind of together. Now I'm about to make lunch, a really late lunch, and we've been cooking our meals with HelloFresh. HelloFresh with it. I never thought I would be interested in like pre-packaged meals, but I love it. It prevents us from spending extra money at the grocery store when we don't need to or eating out, especially since we've been really focused on making our own meals.
so I decided to walk to a cafe and um, it's blue hour so it looks really cinematic and I'm also going to peak design to get another tripod so I need a like more portable tripod so I'm gonna check out their carbon fiber tripod and their aluminum tripod but they're both basically like travel tripods that are easier to carry around I only have two layers on right now and I'm sweating so today is like the first semi warm day and probably like at least a week and I didn't really know how to dress I only wore two layers because I thought I'd be hot because I sweat easily and thankfully I only wore two layers I'm gonna try to find a coffee shop so I can do a little bit of react programming with uh, testing libraries I talked about yesterday and then also have some video editing to, to do for this event I did a few months ago with a really cool brand that I've always been fond of. I wanted to try out some of your tripods. Yeah. Okay. Um, is outside of the weight, is there any other difference? Like the recent release plates are the same and the legs kind of function the same as well? So you pull down on this, twist, and out comes the phone mount. So once you get out of there, just pull this open, put that in, and then you can attach the phone. Oh, that was quick. That was super quick, wow. That's way better than what I've been doing. And the head turns in like each direction too. Yeah, so pretty much on one side you're gonna be able to rotate it. So today's Wednesday. I got up really early. I honestly just couldn't sleep <laughs> past like 6.15, which is really early for me. So I decided to just get up because I know that if I would have went back to sleep, I would have woke up even more exhausted. So I'd rather be tired midday than exhausted in the beginning of the day. So I decided to stretch. I've been using this app called Pliability on the Pixel. Um, it's just really like calm and immersive stretching app. And I stretch for 23 minutes, which is like a really long time, but I had a basketball game yesterday. I have to probably run for like 60, 70 minutes today. So I need to make sure that I'm feeling good and mobile. Also, I love stretching because it gives me time to be more present. I, I don't I don't love stretching. I love when I do stretch like that. I like the benefits <laughs> that stretching gives you. Nonetheless, I have Spanish lessons today, so um, I have to finish up my homework and I've been learning Spanish aprendiendo espanol mucho and I've been taking Spanish lessons weekly and I can already see a difference I'm learning some cool idi idioms like espan comido cuando corror diez millas espan comido so I basically said that when I run 10 miles it's a piece of cake another idiom I learned is eres mi media naranja which means you're my other half so excited to keep learning Spanish, I wanna become fluent one day, so I have to get out of my comfort zone. So right now I'm watching an easy Spanish lesson and I'm doing some chunking homework, which basically means I'm taking verbs that I don't know, words that I don't know, and then I'm writing them down and then writing them down in a sentence to help remember them. I was looking crazy in that last shot. Definitely not one of my better angles, but I want to get more comfortable talking to the camera and just having these more like low key sections in the video where we're just having a conversation and definitely comment below if you enjoy when I just chat because I enjoy watching other people chat but as a videographer and cinematographer my highest priority is always like keeping you engaged and filming really cool b-roll segments which are dope but I think the value is probably from the conversational piece Lesión tres estaba o era. Mm, 
estaba muy divertido. <laughs> sí, um, it was super funny. Era muy chistoso. Viendo en la calle, bailé en la calle. <laughs> Estudiantes estaba. I started doing this new stretch routine. Oh, wow, new bands. Okay, nice. So I found this TikTok video on how to warm up before you work out, because a lot of people don't work out, warm up. And I was one of those people and I used to always get hurt, but I stick to this same, I think it's a total of five exercises, five stretches, active stretches. It totals to 50 reps. And since then I've just been a lot more mobile and I haven't gotten injured, also haven't strained and like tried to overexert myself with lifting anymore and focus more on having good reps and mobility. Actually, I lied. It's seven exercises and it's 70 reps. Whew. All right, I got no headphones. Might just have to thug it out, at least for the pull-ups. All right, for those of you all who are curious, today's pool day for one, but also the workout is called, it's either ultimate conditioning or horsepower, I honestly can't remember. I'll, I'll just screenshot it to the right of me. But we have wide grip pull-ups, three sets of 10. I already did two sets, only showed you my second. So I'm out of breath. Some lateral raises, T-bar rows, but we're gonna replace those with regular barbell rows. Spider curls, resistant band, tricep extensions, and then the killer is the 10 sets of 10 deadlifts which I gotta be careful because I'm probably gonna run like six or seven miles today, so I gotta take it easy. to get out of the house and I needed it. It was so snowy and icy and just freezing. Like, you know, in New York, you're used to walking around and being uncomfortable, but walking around in 20 degree weather with snow everywhere on the sidewalks is not fun. But I'm in Prospect Heights, about to go to Hungry Ghost. You guys know, it's like my favorite coffee shop at this point. Coffee shop, I'm gonna be working on some React programming and I also need to finish up this edit. Um, but yeah, just, it's a good day, it's 45 degrees, so I'm just happy like that the weather's bearable enough to take a walk. Some days, it's hard to be productive at home. It just is. Or hard to be motivated and stay focused. So sometimes you just need a change of scenery.
and I don't know if you guys can hear me because I don't have my microphone, but we picked up our bibs near the Golden Gate Bridge. It's not called Golden Gate Bridge, but I honestly don't know the name of it. More beautiful locations on the water, and I'm excited, feel good. We got massages yesterday to loosen up two days before the race, and uh, now we're about to grab some food and then uh, walk around San Francisco, hit a few shops, and just, you know, just enjoying being in Cali, right, babe? now because of the okay I spent so much money here I'm like uh. <laughs> all right T minus how many hours from race day 13 mm. 14 15 15. Mm -hmm. 15 these don't have any sugar no sugar living alone diaries yeah right Yeah. Oh, this does go slow. Where are you going to go? I don't know. We might just drive around. We'll be mad at because you wear outdoor stuff and don't do and nothing don't. outdoors. Wear <laughs> <laughs> yeah. outdoor stuff with cargo pants. The gym's just right. All right. It's 8.43. They canceled the race, but I'm forcing Julian to run outside. To build character. Set up Orange Theory to callous, to callous our minds. <laughs> Trying to cross the body up. 